We're a family of four. Uh, it's myself, my husband Peter, and our two children. We've been here for nearly two years. The house was built in 1877. We really love the idea of, of a century home. We wanted all the character that comes with it. We love the idea of high ceilings. And these are actually the original floors. So we love the idea of preserving a little bit of that original element. We added wall moldings, crown, medallions. But we also knew that, of course, as a young family, we needed to make sure that the home works for us. There's really nothing precious in this home. We love the idea of everybody being able to use pretty much every space and feel comfortable and not really worried about spilling or damaging anything. We also love artwork. You probably see a lot of artwork around the house. Just a nice eclectic mix. We think it injects a lot of personality into the home. The kitchen was actually brand new when we moved in. Unfortunately, it was not really our aesthetic. So rather than completely replacing it, we decided to actually reface it. We went with a two-tone kitchen with white uppers and black lower cabinets. We also like the idea of leaving the uppers kind of floating. Our boys love sitting at the peninsula doing homework, eating their breakfast. The entrance to the basement is actually right off the kitchen. The house does not have a proper basement, it's actually crawl space. The odd time that we do go down there, for example, if we would ever have to replace the furnace, we've created the pantry on wheels so that we can easily remove it and open the doors widely. We slice them in half, this way you can open them much more easily, you don't require that much floor space to do that. In the living room, we decided to keep the original fireplace. It is non-functioning fireplace, but we love the original brickwork and just created more of a decorative element out of it. Uh, boys sit here and often play games while we're making dinner. We also hang out here after dinner and read. So it's very comfortable for the four of us. We have these big oversized chairs. We have a comfortable sofa. We have additional seating. There's a bench, so we can actually fit quite a few people here. It's just a very nice conversation area that we really want to create here. We wanted our master bedroom to be our sanctuary. It also has tall ceilings, which again contributes to that very light, airy feel. We found this gorgeous mural from a new wall, and we actually framed it in molding, so it really mimics a very large painting. It's a very soothing, monochromatic mural. We're both big readers, and books inject a lot of warmth and character, so we really enjoy looking at it while we read at night. Our family room, which we like to call our secret back room, was actually originally the garage that's attached to the house. We actually decided to build a hallway leading into that room, and it serves as a room where we actually love to relax. We have a really comfortable oversized sectional where we can all hang out at night, watch movies. Our boys love to bring friends over. That's also where they like to hang out. So just a very comfortable, relaxed, laid back room that's perfect for entertaining. Well, now they've been here for a little bit over a year, we're truly happy with how everything has turned out. We love having friends over, as do our kids. It's become a truly wonderful family home for us.